All right, Kenneth, we're out here in Antioch, California. You're homeless. Yes. Tell the people about that. Being homeless. Um, been dealt a bad hand. It's the only hand I got to play. Um, I've been off the streets off and on for 13 years. Uh, this time I, I plan on getting housing and staying off the street. But more so than staying off the street is getting everybody else off the street. We got to start helping one another. And, yeah. and uh, private citizens alike, you know. They don't want us here. And we can't help it. You know, this is where we are. And we do the best that we can around here, picking up and cleaning up, even cleaning up ourselves. Uh, the resources is very few. Uh, I don't get it this city, you know, they're supposed to be helping us, but yet and still, they want to run us away. It's not going away. It's not going to go away. Homelessness is not going to go away. If you provide a system that filters out, you know, people from homelessness to a place, because uh, you're going to have more coming in. The more you can filter out and the more that's coming in, it's, it's a revolving door. Yes. You know, we can filter them out and more come in. But that's just work we all have to do. The city government uh, alike has to put in too. Um, I understand that the mayor made a statement uh, and he retracted it, I guess. Um, and where he got his information from seems to me kind of wrong, you know, because you're stereotyping people out here. Uh, We've been stereotyping bad cops for the good cops, you know. Yeah. All police aren't bad. I get that. But you have some on this force that, you know, will push you to the point of retaliation. No one should be talked to like a dog or, or a kid. We're grown people out here. Yes. Uh, we give respect, you know. How about giving it back? That's true. So. You said we, you guys had an incident out here last night. Um, tell the people what's going on or what happened. I had a, a drive-by shooting with paintballs. This is not the first. It's definitely not the first. We've had cans of, of, of food thrown at us. And this is people that aren't homeless. What homeless person is going to drive by another camp and, and shoot paintballs and throw cans of goods at them? That's not the homeless doing that to the homeless. Right. And there was a homeless, there was a, there was a child in There's the incident too? There was a newborn baby that was out here. Um, not homeless, mind you, but, you know, this person was taking uh, public transportation, waiting on it. And to be subject to that, a new baby? Come on, man. Yes. That's not right, man. And those that have did this, and if you can see this, check yourself. Check yourself. You know wrong from right. And that was not right. You're gonna target somebody, target them, even though that's not right. But you look around and you see innocent people that don't have a clue. They don't know things are like that go on here. And they caught right in the middle. Right. It's senseless. So resources out here, what would you like to see more of out here helping the homeless? More dumpsters. We can keep the place clean. We can keep ourselves clean. More porta potties. Um, that way, we don't defecate any and everywhere. Um, the shop owners around here, they complain about that. And uh, we understand, you know, their tripe, but understand our situation. There's nothing out here for us. Uh, a lot of people won't let us in their door to, to use the restroom. Right. A lot of people just want to have something to pick at, and that's us. They say we're bad for business. But here at Amtrak, we don't solicit people. We help people. People get off this train sometimes, and they're like a deer in the headlight. They don't know where they're at, where they're going, and which way they're going. We inform them of, you know, which train is going which way. We inform them where the buses are and which way they're going. We're more of a help than a hindrance, and I hope people will see that. 
you know, people who kind of write in and tell people that, you know, we've been a help. We've given our money to people that was short on change, uh, trying to get somewhere. You know, we're homeless, but we're not helpless. We help. We do more help than they, they would realize. But when clean things come around here, we clean. And people come around here. We don't get the recognition of it. We don't need the recognition of doing what we're supposed to do, keeping a place clean. But the city can get the recognition of keeping it clean. The city will come down on us for not picking up our things. Every homeless person isn't a bad person. It's, it's a fact we do have some incorrigibles. Um, we're dealing with that in our own way. But it, it takes all of us to stand up together, stand up together and deal with this. We know the problems. Let's stand together and fight the problem. Make it a solution. And then others won't come around here and, and and do the same thing, pull the same tactics that they do. Um, helpless homeless people, they bully. They take their things. It's gotta stop. Not only is there homeless or homeless crimes, and that's gotta stop. And I'm gonna reach out to fellow homeless people in other encampments, you know. Find your leaders. Leaders talk to your people out there. Pick up after yourselves. Do the right thing, and let's come together as a group around Antioch, as leaders of the homeless or spokesmen. Everybody's a spokesman, you know, because if you're doing what I'm doing, you're speaking out against it, you're, you're a spokesperson. But let's stop speaking and let's stop and do, start doing, you know. It behooves me that, you know, other camps get different messages than, than we do. Around here, we're on front and Broadway. We're basically the face of homelessness in Antioch. Well, if you see the face of homeless in Antioch, uh, along with our Lord, that you know keeps us, and we have faith, and we keep faith. Organizations like some of the churches around here, they help provide with things. Um, some of the city officials have softened their hearts and they come out on their own and help. I'd like to name a few personally, but I'm, I'm probably not at liberty to name them, but you have a few that's in city government here that have been a real help, been a real godsend. All right, and with that, I'd like to thank you for your time, and we just, we wish the best for you. Thank you. Thank you.